Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video, we're gonna be trying out two new shades of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. These are cream shadows from Charlotte Tilbury. One of her most popular products. I know lots of people who are really into cream shadows love this formula. And these are two shades that are super, super popular in her range and lots of other products. I actually was so shocked when I saw these launch that they didn't already have a Pillow Talk shade. They have Pillow Talk shades in everything, you know, blush, eyeshadow, palettes, lipsticks, multiple lipsticks, liners, etc. So I was really surprised that there wasn't already a Pillow Talk shade of the eyes to mesmerize. And then Walk of No Shame, another very popular shade in this range. I don't have a lot of these products. I actually only have one other shade, the eyes to mesmerize, and this is the shade jean so it's not much help as far as doing comparisons for you because it is completely different as you'll see but i will swatch the three of these shades together to show you the differences but they aren't similar i know a lot of you were saying that these reminded you of some of the existing shades in particular the rose gold but hopefully you'll be able to see from the demo and the swatches that i do have whether that's the case or not so you get seven mil of products in these little jars and they retail for 22 pounds or 32 dollars these are now available and they will be linked down below my usual uk us and eu links will be there for you if you're interested in picking these up so if you're not familiar with these products they are a cream eyeshadow they are super blendable and buildable so you can use a very, very light wash of colour on the lid or you can build up however much you want or don't. They are very hydrating and cooling. They have that cooling, hydrating effect you can actually feel. They feel very cold when you apply them very fresh on the skin. So they may really suit someone who is doing something super, super quick, a very appropriate one and done eyeshadow formula and also perfect for someone going from the office to evening to, you know, you can go in and add a little more at work. Very, very handbag friendly if that's your thing. So without further ado, let's try these on the eyes and see how we like them. So here they are in their external packaging. As you can see, Pillow Talk has the pink packaging and Walk of No Shame has the classic brown. But inside they have the exact same packaging just with the shade showing through obviously looks a little different but the internal component is exactly the same between these two new shades and here is the product inside pillow talk and walk of no shame pillow talk is described as a pretty pink shade with a rose gold sparkle and walk of no shame is described as a russet rose with a golden peach sparkle as you can see quite different shade wise but they both have a lot of shimmer running through a very similar finish okay so i have concealer on my eyes and i've set that with powder that's kind of the way that i like to prep my eyes for pretty much all shadows but i think it works nicely with these pots as well to stop creasing and i'm using my what's up beauty r106 just a flat natural haired brush and I'm going to pick up a very small amount and I'm going to wipe my brush off on the lid just to make sure that we apply as little as possible. I think this is like definitely a less is more situation these shadows. I think the more you apply the more likely you are to get creasing but these are a perfect like one and done shadow. I think if you are looking for like cream shadow that you just want to wash undone, these are going to do very nicely. I will show you the shadows on their own first because I think that's probably how most people want to use these cream shadows. I think, you know, they are a time saver. They're quicker than using a whole palette. So, you know, people who like these type of products I feel like will want to just be able to use it on its own I'm just going to blend the edges of that this is my Bristles Beauty EO2 RL I'm just going to blend around the edges to get a nice seamless application I'm just going to add a tiny bit this is the pillow talk shade in case anyone got lost on what was on what side I know I do quite often have to check what is going on and then once that's on I just like to go over with a finger just to make sure that any excess 
is kind of removed because like I said, the excess is what is going to crease if anything is going to. Where's the brush gone? It's in my friggin' hand, what a nana. So this is Pillow Talk on the lid. Actually a pretty subtle shade on my skin tone. Very, very understated. I'm gonna pat this on with a finger and see how much opacity we can get out of using a finger. I mean, it's not lacking in opacity, it is just a subtle shade. I mean, you could even see in my swatch, it isn't a super bright overpowering shade. It's definitely more on the subtle side as far as this shade goes. This is like gonna show up more on lighter skin as far as the amount of color to it, but for me it's definitely a very natural, subtle, soft shade. And then I'm gonna use my Rafa 26 to run a tiny amount under that lower lash line. Once I've done the other eye, I will finish this eye off with mascara and everything, but for now that's Pillow Talk just on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush but the other side, so it's nice and clean. Same thing, picking up a very small amount to begin with and dabbing on. This one is gonna have a lot more punch to it, on me at least. This is a really lovely, this actually goes very well with my lip colour today. This is the Lisa Eldridge Atomic Cherry. It's a bit worn off though. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting these shadows to arrive today, so I wasn't really quite filming ready when I realised they were going to be ready for filming. So again, I'm just starting off with a real light wash, patting that all over the eye, and then I'm just going to go in with my finger to dab off and pat in, make sure there's no excess, make sure there's no unnecessary extra product. That's gonna be the best way to avoid creasing. And then I'll add a little more, build up. I think it's definitely a slowly less is more situation with these shadows. To avoid creasing, it's worth taking your time and building up slowly. And again, under the lower lash line with this one. with a finger to see what colour we can achieve using a bit more for impact. But really making sure I'm pressing that right in. We get as little creasing as possible by really working the product in and blending those edges out. Just again, that same cleaned off brush just around the edges. So here you can really see how different they are. The Walk of No Shame, much more vibrant, bright, coppery shade, and the very soft, subtle, pinky tone of Pillow Talk that we all know very, very well. So they are very different to each other at least. This one I feel like just suits me better, suits my skin tone better. But let's put some mascara on and finish the look so we can decide properly. Okay, so here we are with mascara added and both sides super pretty. Obviously, the Pillow Talk side is just very, very understated and soft and pretty, that beautiful pink mauve sort of tone to it. The Walk of No Shame, much more vibrant on me, much warmer, more of a copper tone. I think they both look lovely. Both shades look beautiful. The application was very, very easy, no problems. You know, it doesn't dry down too fast. It doesn't stay wet. It's just enough time to kind of build it up and blend it where you need. And as far as if you just take it slowly, you know, add where you need it to get the desired effect a little at a time. And I think you'll have a really nice result. I love how these feel on the eye. They're very cooling and like refreshing 
feeling on the skin, which is really, really nice, especially as I added them under the eye. Like my eyes feel really nice and cool and refreshed. And I just think they look very, very pretty. This side is, is just very Charlotte Tilbury's aesthetic. You know, the, the brand in general, they have everything. Everything is very soft, understated, your skin but better kind of makeup you know just kind of you with a little bit of help and this is very much on that vibe this side is definitely a bit more to it but you know it just really depends on what your preference is I think the pillow talk side is just perfect every day barely there just a hint of something but super pretty and this side is just a little bit more uh, very summer perfect I feel lovely and warm scream summer to me, uh, that sort of coppery, bronzy eye would go beautifully with super bronzy skin. But yeah, I think both sides are very pretty, no problems. Let's give it like maybe an hour and see if we get any more creasing at the moment. I can see absolutely no creasing. I was very careful with my application process, very, very little at a time, making sure everything was really blended, but we'll see how it goes in the next little while. It's still early days. Okay, so I just went and had my lunch and touch things up a little bit not my eyes but lips and everything afterwards so we're looking a little fresher but eyeshadow wise so far so good there's really no creasing that I'm noticing yet obviously it doesn't mean it won't crease you know throughout an eight hour day you may get some creasing I'll let you know in the comment section down below today how these do throughout the day and whether any more creasing came with the more and more hours go by I'll leave them on for as long as I can and we'll see um how that works out but generally I find like these shadows cream shadows or cream products if they're going to super crease they kind of do it in the first hour or so at least a little so so far that's a really really good sign there you have it I got on really really nicely with these so far so good absolutely I am fairly familiar with the formula I have used these and tried these before and I find them very very quick very very easy to use now that I've kind of worked out how they work best definitely less is more slowly slowly little is better what less is more that's what I'm trying to say less is more with these slowly slowly build if you want to add more color but yeah I think they're very very quick very very easy perfect one and done on the go or like I said day to evening at your desk in your handbag perfect for those kind of super easy can't go wrong if you don't want to use a whole palette and use five different shades I think you'll really really like these I think these shades are very very wearable for most of us perfect for mature eyes especially if you use very lightly so you won't get any creasing throughout the day as I said I will keep you posted if any severe creasing happen but we're you know a good hour and more in now and there's really no creasing but I think that's really down to how I prepped my eyes and also that I went very very slowly and carefully along the way please let me know if you've tried these and how you get on and any tips and tricks that you use for your application that have helped you out as always it's really great to have some tips and tricks from others as well in my comments section so thank you for watching I hope you found this helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.